guys, you want to make some candle holders for Valentine's? Really pretty, very romantic. Let's get started. What I'm going to do, and I use one of these candle holders from the Dollar Tree. I use it when I paint a lot of times because you can just put it down the paint on the glass and it cleans up really nice. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this gesso out. Then I'll close it back up again so I don't have to leave it. So what I'm going to do with this, so a lot of times I will gesso things because if not, you have to use a lot more paint in some instances. And I'd rather just gesso because that takes up some of the slack so you don't have to use so much uh, of your paint. So I'm going to put the tape before I paint them. Again, this doesn't matter. That's not going to amount to nothing. So what you're doing is you're going to go inside of the paper towel roll. Okay? And what you're doing is you're creating like a cradle for the tea light. So before you put on any more of the tape, let's see how far it sticks out because you don't want it sticking out. You want it being flush with this. You don't want it up like this. You want it down to where, like I said, it's flush. So what I did with the candles from Halloween, I painted these black because the candles were black so it all matched and I may go ahead and paint these this cream color when I'm done. But right now what I'm concerned with is just getting this painter's tape to where I need it. And I like painter's tape because when you take it off it just comes off really easy and you want a little bit to go over the edge so you know it'll be secure and then once you paint it it'll for sure be secure. So I'm doing that first bringing it down and before I really adhere it so that's just right. So you saw how I took it down and I wanted to see when it would hit to where it would be flush. So now that's fine. And when I start putting the glue, some of the glue here, it'll fit more snug. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to secure this tape to where I have it. And that just creates, like I said, a cradle to where the tea light will not fall through and you won't have to worry about putting so much glue trying to make it to where it fits snug. I usually put three pieces of tape. That seems to hold it well. When you paint it, go ahead and paint the blue obviously because you don't want to see that blue. So you'll paint that. I think I'll put a fourth piece just because I don't like that little gap in there. And then secure it over there. Okay, so this is what you have. You know, I don't look at paper towel rolls. I don't look at bottles the same anymore. I'm always, <laughs> I'm always thinking what I can do with them. Let's see. Okay, then that's just right for me. Just right. All right. So now that I know my tea light is just flush with the top of this and I have my tape secured where I need it, I am going to go ahead now and paint with gesso. So let's do that. And see how I'm doing up here. Hope all of you are doing well today. We finally got some rain, which is much needed here. The weather is very nice right now. It's nice and cool, not hot. I love when I look at catalogs because I buy a lot of my clothes through catalogs. And a lot of them have, you know, these really pretty long sweaters and these coats and these hats. 
Well, where I am, you can't wear that kind of stuff. It's, it never gets cold enough. And I understand a lot of people right now would are saying, hey, you don't know what it's like in this snow and everything. And I understand that. I mean, of course, I... No, I mean, to be that cold, no. And my thoughts and prayers go out to any of the people that are just really having a terrible time with that. But I'm just talking cool weather, at least. To be able to wear that kind of stuff. But, oh well. There's more important things, right? Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. And do you see what I mean, how this just so helps? Because if you were just painting this with acrylic, you're going to have to go over that two or three times. So instead of using all your colored paint, just use gesso first, and that helps you. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish up putting my tape on all of these like I just showed you and painting them the gesso, and then we'll come back and we'll start with the glue. Okay. So what I did off camera, I went ahead and gessoed all of these. And here's the tape. Now I'm heating up my glue gun, and then we're going to start putting the glue. Now, these do take a lot of glue, but it's something that you can keep and use over and over. So what we're going to do, let's start here. And I'm just bringing it down. And then I'm randomly just going to be careful too when you're doing this, obviously. I'll let it drip a little bit. And do you see how I'm covering up these little pieces of the cardboard where you can see where it has been put together? If you want, after this is dry, you can go over it again to make it bigger in certain spots. And like I said, I'm just randomly... I think you can see that. But the antiquing will highlight a lot of these drips. I'm going to do this first candle, and then I'll do the rest off camera, because you, I'm sure, don't want to watch me do this. I'm going to let that dry. And then I'll be right back after I get these others coated with glue. Okay, so let's go ahead and start painting this. I have my antique white. Don't forget to paint the inside where the blue tape is. You don't want that showing. I'm hoping this will take one coat. It might take two, but I don't think it's going to have to take any more than that because I did put the gesso on first. Those little nooks and crannies of the glue. Make sure those are all painted. Try to keep your threads from the glue stick to a minimum if you can. I like these painted this cream color. It could go with a lot. I used to paint. Remember when that was really popular? All kinds of statuary stores all over the place. I mean, they had everything. That was a real big thing in the 70s. Well, even the 80s, actually. Okay, so we're almost done painting this. I'm going to let that dry, and then I might do a second coat. As soon as I'm done making sure all of this is really covered, we'll go ahead and then we'll antique and put it together on the candle plate. Okay, I'm back. What I've done is I've taken the antiquing and diluted it with some water. And now I'm just going to put on 
wherever I want on this paper towel roll. And work kind of quick on this one because if you don't want it as dark, you want to get as much as you want off and you have to do that while it's still kind of wet. So I took a soft cloth and then I'm just going to take off what I want. Be careful of the glue though, the paint on, on the glue because you'll wipe that off if you're not careful. So you have to be a little bit careful when doing this part. Okay. All right, make sure to do the inside as well. Don't forget that. And then what I'm going to do is just take one of my tea lights and I'll put them in. And there you have some vintage looking candles made out of paper towel rolls some paint and glue, and a tea light. I'll be back to show you what I do.